Welcome to day nine of the 64 Million Artists January Challenge. Got it all out in one today. Uh, day nine is your warmest friend and has been dreamed up by the Warm Welcome campaign, which is nice. nice. I was, remember when I was uh, working as a journalist, one of the things that I was told was to always say hello and present your name. So hello, I'm Martin and I'm an artist. I did that last bit. don't know if you need it or not. Yeah. Um, so one of my warmest friends is going to be, I've got loads of friends, but my warmest friend is probably my dog who sleeps on my bed with me. So today I'm going to be doing a picture of my dog uh, and uh, yeah, all my friends are going to say, oh, you didn't do a picture of me. I'm going to do a picture of my dog. I'm going to show you how I will achieve that in collage. Uh, so let's have a quick look at some of the materials we use. So as you can see, I've got a reference picture. I've got a brush, which will become apparent later for the use of that. I've got my ink stick and my ink, which I will use shortly to do the image. I've got my Mod Podge glue, which we'll stick it all down with, some gouache paint and some uh, some coloured paper, which we'll use to create the picture and image of the dog. That's the equipment. Let's uh, move on to how we start. And I'm going to show you a very quick way to get a collage started. Collage, nice word. Uh, and uh, a very simple way, if you're not very good at drawing, to get uh, your basic shapes onto the page. So let's have a look, see how we're gonna do that. This. this is gonna be the base of my image. Now, I've created uh, a printout of my photo of my dog. And I've cut out several elements. So if I take away the background, you'll now see the dog uh, and I've cut this into three pieces. So I have the head, I've got the neck and part of the body. Oops, let's sit that over there. And I've also got the collar of the dog. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn this around so I don't waste too much paper. And I'm going to put this onto my page. I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to go around the edge with some water and then tear out the paper. So let's have a go at that. You don't have to be too careful at this stage because we're just trying to build up a basic shape. Oops, although I do want it to be semi-accurate. There we go. That's better. And this is the nice thing about t uh, sugar paper in that it will take water very well and also allows you to tear quite well as well. So I'm just going to really get that edge really nice and wet. And now I can start to tear out that image. So you'll see very faint line and that's an indication of where I'm going to tear. And then as you can see, the paper will just tear around where I've made it wet, creating my first basic shape. Oops. There we go. So now you can see I've got the head and the body of my dog. Next thing to do is to cut out these pieces and create the ears and the collar using some blue paper. So let's do that next. So now you'll see I've got my template shape and I've also got my shapes that I've cut out ready to draw. What I'm going to do now is cut out a square of yellow paper to go around uh, and frame off the image.
Right, having done that, I'm now going to stick all this down using my Mod Podge glue. Uh, so let's do that. So now you can see I have my template dog and I have my dog that I've created using collage paper layered down onto my surface. The next thing I'm going to do is use some ink to create some lines so that the dog starts to come alive. So I am using uh, Indian black Indian ink from uh, Jackson's Art and I'm using my stick and what I'm going to do is put the stick into the ink and I think I'm going to start by placing the nose which comes here. There we go, one nice line there. I'll put that down there. And we're trying to get that in. That nose. Got the, the jowls of the dog, so we're going to put them in. A little bit of a, a lip there and put in. We've got the eye that we can, oops, too much ink, we can put in here. same over this side probably there oh lovely lovely not amount of ink on here this is really flowing well through there um, we can put in this, this is the uh, collar so let's put that in bone in there. Let's try and draw that in. There we go. And that comes up there like that. And then through there. And then we got this tag here that I want to put in. So we got that bit. And then the tag down the bottom. And we will put in the ear. We we'll suggest the ear. Some dark coming in there. Like that. And then out there. Probably bring that in a little bit more. can see the dog appearing which is quite nice I put that there you go and there's some marks there and then we'll put this other ear in here there we go and maybe come out there because she her ear does come across and then there's wonderful bits of hair that come down here, make those marks in there like that. Um, put a bit more collar in there and then do 
some more marks up this and darker marks in there and then those bits of hair she does have some nice bits of hair in there so I'll put them in and she has the same that side and I'm just going to improve the shape of this nose a bit and use a fine liner just to get the eye in a bit better through here so adding a little bit of detail here not too much and again through here just so we can get that eye in there we go and I think that's it and maybe put some uh, writing on there shape that up a bit just looking for bits that I can uh, add a bit more detail to this is a some, not too much a little bit of speckle there just to help and there's some speckle in here few dots there and there maybe we've had some marks into the hair so I've uh, I've got my my basic dog shape in now I'm just going to use some gouache now just to add some darks to the image so that the, the dog truly comes alive and the dark bits are in here. Um, add some black to that, get some marks in. There we go. That's come down there. Like that, I'm just following the shape of the dog now. There we go. That's better. We've got something that comes kind of over there, like that and I want to pull that down to there like so a bit more into there a bit of that color into there and there and give some yellow to this brown now See if this works. Oh yeah, that's a good colour. I'm gonna just fleck in some bits like that. That's good. Again, down here, there's some flecks of this colour, light colour on top of the ear. Extend that out past that line. Now there's a nice bit in here that you can't see, but there's a colour like that there, and a bit there like that. Comes down her nose, and she's got some bits up there that I just put in like that. And Just going to do, uh, see what this looks like before I go mental with it. There we go. Put some blue on there. I feel like that's probably a better colour. It's a bit in there as well. There we go. Do want to wash in just a little bit of something under there and through there. It's a dark piece of the dog. A 
comes through there like that. Just to, there we go. That'll do. Maybe there as well. Just at the side, there's a dark side to the dog in there as well. Just a little bit. That's too much. I'm just gonna. There we go. There we go. Put a little dot of light in the eye, uh, and there, and there, and there's another bit around there. She has an eyelash that comes around there like that and through that bottom of there. And I'm going to put another bit through the bottom of there. That's probably enough. And a few hairs around here. She has a couple. So, straight back in with the black pen, just to get that eye back. Perfect, I think. Still a bit more we can do there. So I think I'm happy with that today. That is my warmest friend, my dog uh, in collage. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you give that a go. Remember, take a photo, break it down, get some big shapes and then draw on top of your shapes. Uh, it's a really good way to start in collage and to get your ideas down on paper. See you again tomorrow.